Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have square root of 2 plus square root of c is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So uh, here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to eliminate uh, these square root signs from left hand side. Uh, so for this we need to take uh, the squaring on both of the sides and when you take squaring it will be written as a square root of 2 plus square root of c and its whole square is equals to 2 square and now here in the next step we need to use here this algebraic formula if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to uh, a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this nice formula we can expand the left hand side of above equation as in this form because here our a is equals to square root of 2 and b is equals to square root of c so when we apply this formula so above equation or left hand side is written as square root of 2 and its whole square plus square root of c and its whole square plus 2 times of a b uh, so here our a is square root of 2 and b is square root of c and this is equals to 2 square and our 2 is equals to uh, sorry the square of 2 is equals to 4 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here 2 plus this 2 and this square root are also gone and we get c only and here we need to um, combine the square root of these two terms and it will be written as 2 times of uh, uh, 2c and its whole square root and it is equals to 4. So because our target is to eliminate a square root sign uh, so for this we move all the other terms uh, from left hand side to the right hand side and in the left hand side we will get here 2 times of uh, uh, 2 into c square root is equals to this is 4 and this is plus 2 when we move in the left hand right hand side it will becomes minus 2 this is plus c when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus c so here uh, we will obtain 2 times of uh, square root of 2c is equals to 4 minus 2 equals to 2 minus this is our c and now here in the next step <clears throat> we need to eliminate uh, this square root sign uh, for this we again take a squaring on both of the sides in this way so in the left hand side uh, we can uh, just take this square separately on this term and this term as well and you see here the square of 2 equals to 4 and the square of square root of 2 is equals to 2c because this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here only 2c is equals to and in the right hand side we need to expand uh, this nice uh, square identity and it will be written as uh, we apply here the square identity so this will become a square plus b square minus 2 times of a into b uh, and here our a is equals to 2 and b is equals to c so we write this in this way and now here in the next step we have this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8c and it is equals to this 2 square equals to 4 and plus this is c square this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4c and now here further in the next step uh, we need to move uh, the term in the left hand side to the right hand side so it will be written as this is c square and this is minus 4c and this is our plus 4 and we when we move this 8c in the right hand side it will becomes minus 8c and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have minus 4c minus 8c equals to minus 12c and this is our plus 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, you see here this equation will become a quadratic equation in c variable uh, so here we can just apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so first we can write uh, the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are here we can denote the coefficients into the capital letter so capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to minus 12 and capital c is equals to 4 
and we state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of these values of a b and c in this formula uh, so uh, this implies that we have c is equals to first we have minus b the value of b is minus 12 so this will becomes minus times of minus becomes plus 12 and plus minus square root of b square so b is 12 and 12 square equals to 144 minus 4 times of a and c and the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and here we need some simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to this is 12 plus minus square root of 144 minus this is 4 times 4 becomes 16 so 144 minus 16 is equals to 128 and it is divided by 2 and now here we need to focus inside the uh, square root term so we have this is 128 and we write it as 12 plus minus uh, we write 128 as 64 times of 2 64 times of 2 becomes 128 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and we have c is equals to 12 plus minus we know that square root of 64 equals to 8 into square root of 2 and we need to do break this fraction and it will be written uh, we write this two separately on both of these values okay so this is 2 times 6 becomes 12 and this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 and we get here our c is equals to uh, 6 plus minus 4 times of uh, square root of 2 these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify these two roots is these two roots are satisfied our given question statement or not now for this first we need to copy down the given question statement it is square root of 2 into square root of c equals to 2 and here we can uh, verify the positive value it is 6 plus 4 times of square root of 2 and here we verify the negative value it is 6 minus 4 times of square root of 2 okay uh, so now here uh, we need to first put this value into the uh, square root of c and it will be written as uh, square root of 2 plus square root of uh, here you have this is 6 plus 4 times of square root of 2 is equals to 2 and now here we need uh, to make some simplifications here so here we need uh, some simplifications inside the square root sign and here we need to uh, uh, just make the uh, completing square inside the square root term and here we break this 6 as 4 plus 2 and plus we break this 4 as 2 times of 2 into square root of 2 and we check that is this equals to 2 or not okay yeah, so here we have this is square root of 2 plus and this is square root of we write this 4 as 2 square and we write this 2 as square root of 2 and its whole square and plus this will become 2 times of 2 into square root of 2 and we check that is this equals to 2 or not and now you see here uh, inside the square root term you see here this will be the complete square of uh, 2 plus square root of 2 when you expand the square of 2 plus square root of 2 this will become these whole terms and we check that is this equals to 2 so you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here square root of 2 plus this is 2 plus square root of 2 is equals to 2 and now here we need to uh, sum up these two values and you see here this is 2 times of square root of 2 and when you move this 2 to the right hand side it will becomes here 2 minus 2 and you see here this will becomes 2 times of square root of 2 is equals to 0. So this shows that both of the sides are not equal uh, it means that the first value of C is not satisfied the given question statement so this is the our extraneous root okay. So this is our uh, extraneous root because it is not satisfied the given question statement.
and now we need to verify the second value of c and in the second value of c we again put this value here and it will become uh, square root of 2 uh, and plus we put this value here and it will become square root of 6 minus 4 times of square root of 2 is equals to 2 and here in this case we again uh, apply the same process and we write it as square root of 2 plus here we again now uh, complete the when you can complete the square inside the square root term so the completing square of this term i can just write directly here it is 2 minus square root of 2 and its whole square and it is equals to 2 and you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here square root of 2 plus 2 minus square root of 2 equals to 2 this is negative and positive are gone and we get here 2 is equals to 2 so uh, c equals to 6 minus 4 times of square root of 2 be the only one solution of the given question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos